What is up everybody, Sveinsen here back with another MLB 9 Innings video. Uh, this week with the All-Star teams selected and the All-Star break coming up, they gave us two All-Star player packs which I'm going to open for you. Uh, I'm also going to use premium skill change ticket on Adam Wainwright. Quick reminder, since last session, uh, or last, last video I did, he ended up getting a legend skill set with pitcher's chemistry and cleaning up your mess. I really wish pitcher's chemistry had been almost any other um, had been almost any other legend skill because with pitcher's chemistry, it makes every other player in my lineup uh, or in my starting pitcher's lineup better, right? It increases all stats, pitch accuracy for all pitchers. Um, the problem is it doesn't help out this single starter too much, which I really need it to. Uh, I need Adam Wainwright to be my number one ace. Jack Flaherty does a pretty good job of that right now, um, but I really want to make that guy be my Adam Wainwright. So he's the Black Diamond. I'm going to keep using these premium skill change tickets on him until that happens. Then after this, we're going to go open up those all-star player packs. So... Here we are, pitcher's camp, cleaning up your mess. Let's see what else we get. We get pitching machine ace. Uh, we're going to keep the legend skill. Okay, so that's a dud for this week. Hopefully farming later in the week, I end up getting some more. Uh, then I'm also going to open up my two all-star player packs. I don't think either are Cardinals, one of which is actually a Cub and a pretty solid Trevor Story card. Uh, neither of those are useful for me. They'll just be mulch. So I'll get back to the rest of the packs later this week and do some skill change tickets then. I'm tossing this into the video, you know, just because I'm, I'm here collecting my Master Mode rewards and there's a Jury's Familia closing pitch or prime card. It's pretty cool. We'll probably end up getting comboed in a prime combo later, but um, first off, I didn't know you had one, if I'm being completely honest. That's a pretty sick closing pitcher prime. So, yeah. Just, just figured I'd get this footage for the video. Um, back to Master 2021. All right. On to packs we go. All right, let's get to these packs. Sorry for not dropping a video earlier today. I usually film these on Sunday and I was busy yesterday and then work today. Um, you know, I have a lot of skill change tickets which won't be able to use because uh, currently club battles are going on so I can't change my skill storages, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna save all of these for one big skill change extravaganza next week, I think, is the plan. So for now, we'll just do these packs, get them out of the way, and yeah, um, I think that, that'll be the plan. So starting with the silver player packs, obviously hoping for a prime, nothing there. No primes, but we did get a vin we got two vintages. Well, I'm not going to complain about that. Also, Brian Wilson 10. He has a prime year that year. Look at that beard. Wow. That's majestic. Maybe we'll do a prime combo tonight, you know? I just saw a certain other channel got a legend from a from a or not a prime combo, a vintage combo. Certain other channel got a legend from a vintage combo today. Maybe I'll try my luck. Still don't have a vintage. Love to land one. Uh, live season silver player pack. Currently, while I'm filming this, I have the home run derby up on one screen. Uh, it's been pretty hype so far. Not going to spoil anything for you guys, though, in case you're planning to watch it later. Let's uh, grab the premium batter pack. Mm -hmm. 
I also have to decide, one of the reasons I didn't want to do a skill changes tonight is because I have to decide who I'm going to do skill changes on. I'm at the point where I have on most of my starting lineup and a couple of my backup players, I have mostly good, uh, we're going to do RP. We have mostly good skills. You know, we don't have, we don't have double elite skills on everyone. So that might be a place to look to improve. But we have mostly good skills. Yeah, I might improve. Oh, also on relief pitchers, I need a lot of work. But the only issue I have with that is I need to get better relief pitchers before I dump a bunch of skill changes into them, right? Um, so I might look to improve on Ozuna's Charisma Spotlight. Might look to improve on Red Chain Dean's, uh He has Charisma Prediction. Prediction, or no, Ozuna has Prediction Spotlight, not Charisma. So that's why we're going to have to improve on it. Because Prediction is a fine skill. I would say it's probably the sixth best uh, batting skill. Ooh, I'll take the Klein in case I ever get his uh, Prime card. So... Yeah, it's... Oh, we'll get here. Another Klein. Okay, I'm not complaining. Uh, I'll take a third one, honestly. Go we'll put these guys in the backup. And a Paul Goldschmidt. Could improve it. Speaking of Paul Goldschmidt, I have him that uh, I could use to improve. You know, so Red here has Charisma Prediction. That could be better. Ozuna here has good stats, but his running prediction spotlight also could be better. Also, I could retrain him if I wanted to, honestly. Pujols I'm considering. I ended up retraining him because I'm going to use him for a while. Ended up with uh, plus 14 on the right, which is pretty solid. Pretty happy with that. High eye train. Um... And then I could always go for bench guys, but I feel like once I get Nolan Arenado, you know, Goldschmidt might move to the bench, or we'll have some more people move to the bench, so, you know. Yeah, I just, I don't know who, uh, put these guys in backup. Don't know who all I want to dump into, or skill change tickets into, so maybe I'll save them up for a while. Also, while I'm here, I need certain skills for Mentor. Pitching Machine is one of them, so I'm going to lock this guy up. Although he's a live card, so might not let me use him. I think I need Pitching Machine, and I'm not sure what the other one is. Let me go check. I, I ended up training a bunch of guys. Oh, and from Master Mode End of Season, I got this Jury's Familia, which is kind of awesome. He's eventually going to be combo material, but still, it's pretty sick, huh? So, let's, uh, special train. Let me see if there are any upgrades I need to do first. You know, I kind of opened those packs quickly. Nothing here I really want to go for, so. Still dumping into this guy. So we got three more levels of special training to go. Um, didn't need that Mad Adams. Mine is already level 20. Hmm, Wayno, we still want to get good skills on. I mean, I, I'm pretty happy with uh, Untouchable and uh, Dominant. It just could be better, you know, and I really want the best skill set I can get on this guy. We are going to take out Chanho Park. And I have a level 20 Paul Goldschmidt, so 
I can put that guy in the combinations. Oh. Got, let's see, I'm getting rid of my all-stars. Don't need them, they're just same cards with fancy hats, and we don't really care about that. All right, let's go open up some ultimate player packs. Let's see, got four of these. I think I'll do one diamond pack as well. Got at least a diamond out of here. We're always happy with that. Great special training material. Garrett Cole 13. Hey, that's a pretty good card. It's gonna be special training material, but also this Petite 17 is a really good card too. Got a diamond from this one, okay. No complaints, life season. Ryan Presley. You know, he was one of the uh, few guys who after the spin rate ban, I don't think his, uh, or not spin rate ban, after the substance ban, I don't think his spin rate went down. So, you know, props to him. Don't know if there are any Houston fans who watch me. That's a live season Tyler O'Neill. Kind of a low overall for what he's doing this year, but hey, he's been injured a lot. And live season Genesis Cabrera. He's been pretty solid for us overall as well. So that's not a bad card either. Let's do our two premium vintages. Brady Anderson and Jerry Royce. Roos? I don't know. This must be one of the new cards. Then finally, just one of these. We're saving the other one in case we end up doing a Team Select Diamond. Alright, and that's all special training material. I think that's it for all of these tonight. I'm getting kind of close on my next black diamond upgrade, so um, I'm kind of have to gonna have to think about who I'm doing for that. Thinking Matt Carpenter because he could use better skills. They're pretty good, but they could be better. Um, so I'm considering him and giving him a bit of a retrain while I'm at it. Uh, yeah, but before we get skills on him, we have to get skills on Wainwright. So. Diamonds, gold, silver. Let's keep the Cabrera. I'm not convinced by Tyler O'Neill. So I'm just going to combine that and I'll upgrade him later if I get him diamond. Man. Oh, also, I ended up doing a GI reset and got it down to plus 61 on him. So there's nowhere to go but up from here. I think I will do a vintage combo. Just because I have so many vintage cards that need to be comboed. So Smiley. This time we're going to not almost accidentally combo away a, a signature. Like I almost did last time. Do I really not have? I guess it's a good time to combo away some silvers because I have so many. I feel like one time I got a, ooh, a Vita Blue. Such a good card, by the way, if you're an A's deck. Such a good card. Brett Mercer, do another one. I have a lot of stars. I can afford it. That's a new one. Randolph, 1980. I just got to get some of these vintages out of my uh, player storage. They're taking up so much room. 
But this will be the last one unless I get one of these upgraded to a gold. One, two, three. And nope, got a Crocetti. Eh, we'll do these anyway. Oh! Hey, it came out diamond, so no complaints there. Sanglin 75. Base 69 overall. I'll take it. All right, well, I think that that's just about going to do it for today. I don't really have any other uh, any other things I need immediate doing since I can't do the skill change tickets. So as always, if you guys like the video, leave a like below. Um, if you want to keep seeing what I'm putting out, don't forget to subscribe. And, you know, if you leave something in the comments, I'll try to respond to it. I'll talk to you guys.